everyone, welcome to today's guest coaching session. I'm so excited for this because we're going to cover something that's a pretty hot topic these days, and it's gut health. There's so much information out there, but sometimes that can make things more confusing. So I thought we'd bring you guys straight to the source, and today I have Dr. Divya Nair with me, who is the head of microbiology at Sun Genomics, a microbiome health company here in San Diego. These guys are completely changing the game when it comes to probiotics and how we look at gut health. Divya, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me here. So we actually put the topic out to my clients asking them what questions they have about gut health and we got some really good ones for you. So first up, I'd say let's take a look at the basics. So what is gut health in the microbiome? Yes, um, so microbiome is essentially the collective genome of the microorganism that's present in your gut, uh, inside your gut. Uh, so uh, the microbiome, um, can actually decide your uh, the health of your gut, and our gut actually contains trillions of bacteria that's co-evolved with the human gut, and essentially um, the digestive DNA or the genomes of these microorganisms collectively are called microbiome, and as long as you have a microbial diversity, uh, a good uh, microbial diversity in you, that's when you say that you will have a healthy gut. So basically, the more diverse your microbiome is, the healthier your gut is. The healthier gonna be. you are, yes. Okay, but why is that so important? Uh, to to have a healthier uh, microbial diversity oh, means okay. you have um, all kinds of microorganisms that that is there in your gut that is symbiotically uh, they're interacting with each other and maintaining the functions of uh, of your body, including your uh, digest digestion. Their functions like digestion. Um, maintaining your metabolism, your immune system, and even, um, you know, uh, it involves the brain functions and the mood. Uh, it, can even inter it can even interfere with your mood. So this is why uh, gut health is really essential. Whew, all right, that's a lot. So it actually influences your brain and your mood as well. So for all you grumpy people out there, we got to start taking care of our gut health. So uh, what are some things that actually affects your gut health? So there are a few factors like your daily routines of diet and exercise can actually impact your gut microbiome. Um, so the way you eat, um, the kind of food you eat, the fiber, the amount of fiber you take, um, the amount of saturated fat or unsaturated fat or protein in your diet can also uh, have a direct impact on how you, your gut health is. Um, so diet and exercise is one of the most important thing and it's also the probiotics that is co-evolved with you in your gut health, in your gut can actually impact how you would be digesting the food you eat and how that impacts in turn into a GI, like any of the functions in your body, including uh, the brain functions. So basically with all the bacteria that's kind of been in your gut since you were a little kid, how they've evolved, that exactly. all of that's going to dictate what how healthy how your healthy, yes, gut is. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So what are some typical symptoms of somebody who has an unhealthy gut? So the major, the common symptoms would be something like a stomach pain, like a consistent stomach pain, like after having your food or even indigestions or problems that's related to indigestion like gassiness or bloating, uh, constipation, diarrhea, like persistently can also be a reason uh, or an indication. Uh, to you that you have a problem with your gut. So essentially saying that you have a dysbiosis. Got it, got it. Okay, so some other things that we kind of talked about earlier like with mood, but like what are some diseases and other disorders that can be related to having an unhealthy gut? Yes, there are several diseases that's been directly related to um, your gut microbiota. Uh, so even the chronic diseases like IBD, the inflammatory bowel disease, mm -hmm. um, uh, this is also directly related to the gut microbiome. Mm -hmm. So this is why it is essential to keep your um, gut healthy. And several, like, like I mentioned, several other diseases like IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Um, nowadays, it's, uh, there's been more research showing how it affects your mood directly, like depressions mm -hmm. can also be impacting due to the absence of some of the essential microbiome in your gut. And um, even autism, um, um, you know, or diabetes, which is a chronic disease as well, 
are all uh, impacted due to the imbalance in uh, your gut microbiome health. All right, so what can everyone do to kind of like maintain this healthy gut that we're talking about? Yes, um, so first of all, um, the most efficient way of doing it should be the diet and exercise that you can regulate, um, and that should be regulating your microbiome uh, balance as well. And also, you have to have the right uh, probiotic in your system. So if you're not uh, having the right uh, probiotic in your system, they, because they have several functions, like uh, you know, they can directly impact your immune system, and they can you know, prevent invasion of any of the pathogens that could potentially cause any infections. So um, if you have the right probiotic in you, uh, they're able to prevent those and keep you healthy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get to probiotics here in a second, but we gotta ask one question from one of my guys. I won't drop his name because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but why does a whole food plant diet make people so gassy? So the uh, basically the plant food diet um, is hard to digest for the human digestive system, and um, this is where the microbiome, the the probiotics, uh, comes into play and the microbiome fits in. Sometimes if, when you don't have the right uh, kind of uh, microbiome in you, it is not possible to digest it. So there are few um, that we know of which are able to digest the fibers pretty well. And if you lack those, that's when you have uh, gassiness. So basically they're lacking something, or our particular guy, you're lacking something in your microbiome, and that's why you get what you get whenever you eat your cruciferous vegetables and all those other things. Awesome, all right, so we're gonna get back to probiotics now. So basically, plain and simple, what are probiotics and how do they actually work? So probiotics are actually co-evolved with the human um, system, and it's in you, um, and it's evolved with you, it's in your gut, right from the birth. Um, and uh, it's the, the balance of having this probiotics or not having it, that's when um, the problems start, like the gut health problem starts. Um, so how probiotics works is um, like it colonizes in your body, it's in you, and it can actually affect in most of the um, you know functions uh, of your body, like um, the immune system regulations, met the regulation of the metabolism, um, and also um, you know any of the, the gut brain axis that that gives it a direct um, link with the brain, which can actually um, uh, control your mood and mm -hmm. um, energy levels and things like that. So, so this is how probiotics works, and that's why they are very beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. And these are probiotics are essentially live microorganisms, and which is in you. But if you do not have it, you have to take it in adequate amounts to give you that health benefit. Gotcha. All right. So our next question is: is so I've heard prebiotics and I've heard probiotics. So kind of what is the difference between the two? So um, prebiotics, like probiotics are the one, the live microorganisms that's, um, that's there in you or that you have to consume. Uh, but the prebiotics on the other hand are essentially fibers and it can be any of the food that you eat um, can be a prebiotic and you can take them as food and what, what happens is your body won't be able to digest them easily but then they can aid in the growth of microorganisms like the probiotics. So that's helping you to maintain that balance again. So the prebiotics can also like feed into the feed, probiotics. Feed into the probiotics, oh, yes. Okay, good, all right, that makes more sense now. Yes. All right, so, uh, so let's say somebody is currently taking a probiotic. Is there like a best particular time of day, like in the morning, before food, after food, before bed, is like a particular time that's best for it? Yes, there is, um, because um, we think it is uh, it is best to take it in the morning before the breakfast, like at least 15 to 20 minutes before your breakfast, so that it gets into the digestive system like really, and you get the full benefit of the probiotics. Okay, so about 15, 20 minutes before your before first meal you, of the day? Yes. So what if you don't eat breakfast? Like, so a lot of people might do fasting, they might have their first meal of lunch, and then they would just kind of wait until that particular time period? So um, essentially this is to ensure that the probiotics gets into your digestive system. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is why we ask you to eat, like take it before food, because in that way you can assure that it's 
getting into the right place. All right, so 15, 20 minutes before we take in our first meal a day. Got yes. it. If you've been to any kind of health food store, you can definitely see there are so many different probiotics out there. It's almost overwhelming. So like, what does somebody need to know before actually choosing one if they were going to go to a store and do that? Right. Um, so you're talking about the commercially available off-the-shelf yes. probiotics. Yes. Um, so there are uh, those um, probiotics, it's very hard to find one that right fits for you uh, because none of them are based on your unique digestive DNA. So they may or may not work on you. Uh, so we do not know uh, unless you try them. And most of the commercially available ones, um, uh, they do not have a gastric survivability ability to survive the gastric system in mm -hmm. you. And it's been shown that they do not. And uh, they're mislabeled too sometimes. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, uh, so it's it's been, it's it's a little, little risky to do that, but, but um, you know, sometimes it works for people because maybe it, it just happens. But then um, it is very hard to it, to figure out that. So this is why you should have a microbial profile that will say what your gut looks like and how your microbiome looks like. And then you, we can actually customize it according to your gut microbiome, biome, which is a unique so basically, if you're going to a store, you're pretty much just guessing and hoping that the stuff that's in that bottle is actually going to match what your body actually needs. So good luck with guessing. Um, <laughs> so I've seen a lot of the probiotics out there that have to be refrigerated, like they can't last for more than a couple of hours not being refrigerated, and those that don't. So how does that work? How are they able to do that? Yes. Um, so there are a few that claim that they can survive um, without being refrigerated, mm -hmm. but essentially what happens is... Um, they lose their viability by the time uh, because uh, probiotics are very sensitive microbes and they cannot tolerate the difference in temperature like quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so um, they do not s survive in that way and when you take them, you're not getting the adequate amount that you intended to take. Uh, so most of them, by the time you consume them, are not viable. So um, it's always, uh, you know, preferred to refrigerate them to keep their viability mm -hmm. and that's the only way how they can survive. Okay, yes. all right. So now we're gonna start talking about sun genomics. So you guys are doing something I think is pretty cool out here in San Diego. You guys are basically creating custom probiotics based on a person's DNA, correct? Yes. All right, so how does all that work? How do you guys get to that process? So um, we do customize our probiotics based on the digesting DNA of a person. So that's different from a person's DNA it's because the digestive DNA essentially means the DNA of the microbiome in you. So it's, it's based on that that we customize. Um, and how, how we do this, the, the, the whole process, so this is our kit here, and we send out the kit to the customer, and it comes back with a stool sample in it, um, and we analyze it uh, in, a, um, in the lab, test them, uh, to see what's in there, we get the uh, profile, the, the microbiome profile. So the whole test is based on the whole genome sequencing. Um, and after we test and have the microbial profile, now we are able to look at the um, profile and see what kind of profile you have and what unique digestive DNA you have. And based on that, we are able to formulate the probiotics according to your specific needs. And, um, and we also have a microbial profile report that's mm -hmm. uh, written up and uh, by a scientist and that's also uh, given to the customer so they know how different and unique their digestive DNA is. So they can always go on like reference like what their custom yes. pro, uh, their profile is and then after a couple more months and they retest it again then they can kind of start exactly. to see the changes yes. and then you can be like all right this is where we're trying to go right now we're right. here now and then maybe six yes. months nine months here whatever it is we're going to get to the what you guys have deemed is a really good profile for what their microbiome should look like. Exactly. Based on their DNA. Yes. Awesome. Digestive DNA, yes. The digestive DNA, I gotta yes. keep remembering that. <laughs> All right. Me personally, I work with a lot of athletes ranging from like professional athletes to our everyday athletes. And what does the scientific community say about the microbiome and its connection to athletic performance? Because that's a big hot thing right now, so. Right. Um, so the, uh, the microbiome related to athletics, athletic athletes are quite different compared to the normal, um, regular people. Mm -hmm. um, 
and based on how much like because of their activity uh, they have and they do have certain microbes in them and the microbial diversity in them is quite large which is really good for, to maintain the healthy microbiome in them. So you want a more diverse microbiome? The, the more profile. diverse it is, the better it is. So, so anybody who's involved in an athletic performance and exercises and things, they tend to show this microbial diversity which is, you, which is very good for their, um, to maintain their health. And they also tend to have certain microbes which is related to low grade obesity and uh, certain other microbes that's able to, uh, to break down lactic acid which is produced as a result of intensive exercise. Um, so these are all, uh, you know, the differences you see in terms of uh, how it affects the uh, athletes. And, um, and they, they do suffer from some of the problems like fatigueness and, um, you know, problems that is associated with intensive exercises and athletic performances. Um, and this is where probiotics can actually uh, play a role in. So basically like if somebody was working out too hard, they're taxing their nervous system way too often, way too often, like exactly. you're going to see that in their profile and then we can come and combat that with your guys' product that's been designed for them and we can kind of help kind of counteract exactly. that so they can continue to train at that high level that they want yes. without suffering as many without of the, suffering. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you uh, share some of the stories from some of your customers who actually use the product Flora? Right. Um, so um, we do have a lot of testimonials in our website um, uh, saying how they feel about um, you know what after having been on the product, how they feel the overall health and the energy they have, and um, the overall wellness they feel um, after being on the product. So um, they, we also get feedbacks directly like into the customer service and sometimes personally uh, telling us about their story and how they have been feeling better with the probiotics. Um, so there were so many cases where their symptoms have actually gone away um, from what they had, like from the chronic conditions they, that they had, some of the symptoms have gone away and they feel more um, you know, energetic and they're able to uh, you know, take part in all the activities they wanted to. Um, so there are so, so many of them, so many experiences um, and um, feedbacks we get from our customers. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's coaching. I hope you guys learned as much from this as I did. I can appreciate all that your microbiome does for you. Take care of that gut, guys, okay? So if you guys want more information about Sun Genomics and their Flore products, go to sungenomics.com. And we do have a special offer just for you guys since you're part of the Pivot Performance family. Just enter promo code PP25 at checkout for $25 off of your order. Thank you guys for joining us. Remember to be strong, be mobile. Yes, thank you so much for having me.